In today's video, we're going to be adding the fence to the miter saw station. I'm going to be using the Craig Precision Track and Stop system, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Alright, so if you saw the first video of the miter saw station build, you know that the next step that I need to do is make my fence. So for my fence, I'm going to be utilizing the Craig Precision Track and Stop system. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. I'm going to show you what's inside and I'm going to show you how this thing works. The kit comes with four two-foot sections of track. It comes with the screws to attach it. It comes with two of the self-adhesive tapes. The swing stop. And the production stop. So now we're going to go ahead and make the fence and then I'm going to show you how I apply it. As far as the actual components of the fence, the instructions say to use 3 quarter inch stock. You can use MDF. I'm using red oak in my case. Um, the vertical piece is 2 and a quarter inches tall. And this back piece I made it 4 inches wide. I'm using a little bit of glue here on the edges and some pocket holes to hold it together. And I made sure to joint this bottom piece here and also this bottom piece here so that they're both nice and flat. I've decided to add some dominoes to help keep things lined up during the glue process. So the next step is to add a bead of glue down here, uh, put these pieces together, clamp it up and then drive in some pocket screws. All right, our fence is now done, and we can start by adding the track to the top. So we're gonna just go ahead and line up the, the track here to the edge, and then we're gonna clamp it here, and then we'll flip this down, pre-drill along, along this little ridge right here, and drive in our screws to secure it in place. You wanna make sure that uh, where the two pieces meet, you uh, put a clamp right here in the middle and what this does is it gets rid of this little ridge that can happen if you don't do that. Um, you want to make sure that basically you have one solid piece that's joined together. So just put a clamp here um, and put your screws in close to the edges and this just makes sure that these don't catch on this little ridge. So just a little tip. The instructions say to use an eighth inch drill bit one inch from the edge. So we're going to do that and then we're going to drive in our screw. All right, so if you took your time and you were patient, you should have no visible catch when you slide your, uh, your stop across from one joint to the other. So uh, um, the joint is right there. I'm just gonna slide this. You can see that. I'll go ahead and zoom in on that so you can see. As you can see, pretty much no catch there, so. All right, so we're now ready to attach the fence to the miter saw station. So what I did off camera is I inserted a threaded insert um, and I'm gonna be using some quarter inch knobs to uh, you know, tighten down the fence onto the station. So the knobs are gonna fit in these oversized holes that I made and we're gonna line it up using a long straight edge. In this case, I'm gonna be using my Makita track saw fence. It helps if you start off on the first one, tighten it down slightly, and then work your way down until you uh, get all of them lined up. And once you have them all lined up, you have everything straight in one line, and you're ready to apply the tape. Okay, now we're moving on to probably the most important part of the build, which is to make sure that you uh, apply the tape correctly. So what I did here is I took this uh, piece of stock that's 16 inches, and I joined this edge back here to make sure it's straight. And I lined up with this piece of tape here, uh, you know, where this piece ends. So I know that from where the blade is touching over there to here, it's 16 inches. So then I marked off here on the, on the top of the track. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply the uh, 
have tape here. What I've done here now is I've lined up my 16 inch mark here with the tape uh, at the 16 inch uh, point and I started to apply it left and right but uh, at this point now I'm going to test it just to make sure that it is accurate and that it's that it's reading correctly because if not uh, we can move it a little bit to get it you know close to where we need to be. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can make adjustments on the stop but just enough to where we're sure that we're in the ballpark. So I just cut this down to 15 inches to test it and as you can see we're dead on 15. So I got pretty lucky on the first time that I got this locked in but um, if you don't it's really easy. You just have to move this knob here and it has this little piece of plastic that has a line on it and you can adjust it left or right to get you closer to the to the whatever measurement that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it in the rest of the fence. Throughout the planning of the miter saw station, I did have some people reach out suggesting that I don't add a fence for various reasons. There's videos out there of why people don't add fences. But for me, I decided to keep a fence and here are the two reasons. Number one, I have this huge space here on the left side of the blade. And I know that if I didn't have a fence, it would eventually get full of clutter. And the whole purpose of this was to quickly and easily make my cuts. So by having the fence there, I have a visual cue to keep this space clean. Number two, I just can't give up the flip stop ability. The whole point of this is to make quick and accurate cuts. Having the flip stop allows me to square up one edge, flip it over, and then cut to the final desired length. So those are my reasons that I'm keeping it. Now that the fence is done, we can move on to the next part of the build, which is making the drawers. I like to make my drawers quick, easy, and sturdy. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. If you haven't seen the first video, I'm gonna include the link up there and also down below so you can check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.